Welcome to our lecture online. Here we're starting a chapter in geometry that is actually a really important chapter. It's a chapter on reasoning and proofs, and it's one of the cornerstones of why we learn geometry. It's learn how to systematically think through things based upon rules and laws and things that we know and things that we conjecture and things that we assume and postulates and things like that. And sometimes we get lost in the definition of what those words actually mean. So we're going to start out with some basic definitions, and then we're going to learn how to actually apply this reasoning, this, this what we would call systematic logic through different laws and rules in order to come up with good conclusions. And so that's what this chapter is all about. So let's take a look at some of the definitions that we have on the board. We have inductive reasoning, deductive reasoning, conditional statements, conjecture, and postulate or postulates, as we would say. All right, what are these things? First of all, inductive reasoning. So we're looking for a pattern or a trend in order to come up with a generalization. Sometimes you're shown a bunch of numbers and you're supposed to try to figure out what the next number will be based upon the pattern of the trend that we can, that we can visualize. So we're going to try some examples of that. Sometimes they also show you some figures and based upon how the figures change, we should be able to predict what the next figure should look like. And again, that's what we mean by inductive reasoning. We take a look at the trend and we're trying to come up with a generalization. For example, oh, we can see that each, each consecutive number is three more than the previous one. So therefore, we can say in general that every consecutive number is three greater than the previous one. And therefore, the next one will be three greater and so forth. So that's what we mean by inductive reasoning. Deductive reasoning is something entirely different. What is it? It's a means of collecting and examining empirical evidence. So, what do we mean by that? Well, we look for things, real data, real information, real things that we can touch and feel and look at. That's called empirical evidence. So, real evidence. Also, we look for the concordance of multiple premises. What that means is we look for different things, different pieces of information, and look for the common pattern, how they relate to one another in a logical sense. So that's what we mean by concordance of multiple premises. We look at different things and we look for the similarity between those. And then, of course, we look for things that are assumed to be true in order to derive or to arrive at a final conclusion. So we look at various pieces of information and data we look for the similarities between them, and then based upon that, we should be able to draw a conclusion. Here we have a little star because this is specific for geometry. We use facts, definitions, accepted or proven properties, to, and then the laws of logic to come up with that final conclusion. So that's what we're going to try to learn here. We're going to look at facts, things that we know to be true, definitions, accepted or, or proven properties and the laws of logic to go from A to B to C to, to final conclusion. So that's the kind of what, thing that we do in geometry. We also use conditional statements. The if-then statement, for example, if we know that this statement is true, then we can conclude that this other statement must be true as well. So if this is true, then that must be true. And so, for example, if an angle is a 90 degree angle, then it must be a right angle. So if A is true, then B must be true. That's kind of an example of that. Also, we have what we call conjecture. Now, conjecture, you're a little bit more on thin ice, so to speak. A conjecture is an unproven statement based on thought or observation, an educated guess. Give me your best guess based upon what you're thinking. That's not, of course, not always a good way to go, especially when we try to prove something. So conjecture might not quite get you there, but at least it might get you partway there, or if you're lucky, you might actually come up with a good guess. So again, conjecture is simply an unproven statement based on what you're thinking or based on some observations you made, your best guess, your educated guess. Postulates are rules that are accepted without proof. Now, just because they're not proven doesn't mean that they're not necessarily true. For example, we can say that a line contains at least two points. That is a statement that we can accept. That is what we call a postulate. We accept that without proof. You have two points, you connect them with a line. Any two points can be connected with a line, so therefore we can say we're, done. we're not going to prove that mathematically, we're just going to accept it. We call that a postulate. Most of what we do in geometry will include inductive reasoning, deductive reasoning, 
conditional statements, conjecture, and postulates, or a combination thereof. And so we're going to see a lot of examples on how to use these particular things. And that's how we go through proofs and reasoning in geometry.